it. So I've got really nothing to say, but I'm going to make something up. Because that's the way, isn't it? Make up a conspiracy theory. So you may have heard that an um, Antarctic or expeditioner, someone out on the uh, ice wall surrounding the flat earth, went insane. And they had to be um, rescued. They had to be restrained and then taken, um, taken by boat to Hobart to go to a secure psychiatric facility. Now, I've got a couple of mates. Two guys I played in the band with, both of them were bloody studying um, Antarctic studies. And they've both been down there, and they say it's all it is is just one big piss up. Because there's nothing to do except get drunk. And that's what they do, they get drunk and it's one big orgy. And one of them had sex with the bloody captain of the boat that took him back and it was a very uncomfortable trip, very tense, after he'd shagged the captain's missus. And he never got invited down there again. And the other guy goes backwards and forwards all the time, you know. Anyway, I'm betting that what they did was they explored one of those ice pyramids on the outer edge of the flat earth, on the ice there the ice wall and that one of them was possessed by some evil spirit in the pyramid or maybe one of them was bitten by a zombie guard of the pyramid and they've gone insane either they are possessed by an evil spirit or they've got zombieitis and um, we've stupidly brought them to Hobart but the zombieism in Hobart you see that could be a good reason to go down get right in the front line of the zombie plague but maybe it's better to watch it from a distance and let the zombies slowly get closer and then you've got a bit of a plan and you know what type of zombie they are you know do you have to destroy the brain can you just um, stab them in the heart are they susceptible to silver all those things so we want to be learned before we battle those zombies and so I'm expecting that tonight the zombie plague will get out of hand and, um, and I would have been down there.